This is a story of the Battle of the Atlantic. A story of an ocean, two ships, and a handful of men. The men are the heroes. The heroines are the ships. The only villain is the sea, the cruel sea. But man has made more cruel. When the war came in 1939, the Navy took me out of the merchant service where I belong and put me in command of one of the new convoy escort vessels that were being built on the Clyde. She was a flower-class corvette. Her name was Compass Rose. It was all very strange at first. But it wasn't the ship herself I was worrying about, so much as the men who were going to sail in her. Most of them had never been to sea before. As for the officers, I was the only professional seaman among them. The rest were amateurs. Reporting for Compass Road, sir. Which are you? Lockhart, sir. Uh, so you're a fellow, Yes, sir. First ship? Yes, sir. We've just come up from King Alfred. Oh, yes. How long were you trading there? Uh, five weeks, sir. Five weeks? Oh. What was your job in peacetime? Freelance journalist, sir. Oh, what's the connection? I've done a bit of sailing, sir. Uh, what about you? I was working in a bank, sir. Ever been to sea? Well, only across to France, sir. Either of you married? Yeah, I, I am, sir. Oh. Well, you'd better have a look around the ship to begin with. The main body of the crew hasn't joined yet, but there'll be plenty for you to do. Where's all your gear? At the station, sir. You can pick that up later. Report to the first lieutenant. You'll find it somewhere on board. Coxon! Coxon! Sir, this man is smoking during working hours. Yes, sir. Not working proper routine yet, sir. Who says not? I was going to leave it to where he had four ships come aboard, sir. That makes no difference. No smoking except during stand easy. Understood? Aye, aye, sir.
Yarmouth. 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 Y